Hey friends, summer is around the corner and I'm gonna show you how to build this beautiful charcuterie board featuring some fantastic iron-friendly options. Starting off, we are going to place our bowls. Bowls are great for things that might have liquid in them like olives or pickles or a dip. So I have chosen a spinach dip. Again, great for iron and uh, tastes delicious as well. One thing to note when building your board is how you can use the different elements to create tension and harmony. So even with the forgotten pesto olive dip, but also the Parmesan, the brie, the sharp cheddar, the colors, the shapes, the sizes, and how they work with each other and create balance on the board. Next, the star of the show, liver pate. I know what you guys are thinking, but I promise you it is delicious. So I recommend you trying it and it pairs so well with everything else on the board, along with prosciutto and smoked salmon and also salami sticks. If you're dealing with high quality cheeses, then that means you need a high quality cracker. The only thing I would say is keep it simple. You do want it to be a nice fresh cracker, but don't get anything overly seasoned because you don't want to compromise the flavor of those nice quality cheeses you got. Next, of course, you want to add your fruit. I've also chosen to add radish and some dark chocolate, a great iron friendly option. And finishing off strong with seeds and nuts, I chose pumpkin seeds because they're high in iron as well as almonds, walnuts, and seeds and nuts are really great fillers to kind of give the board that final touch. So what do you guys think? Did I miss anything? Comment below. I want to hear your thoughts uh, and you'll have to let me know if you try it.